Thanks for checking out this episode of Brutal Battle Beer Break. So, it's nice outside, as I check. Uh, yeah, still nice. Uh, sunny, just got off work, as you can tell by, you know, collared shirt. I don't do that in my off time. I do not wear shirts like this when I'm off. Um, so, I figure, uh, what better way to decompress from work than to do a Brutal Battle Beer Break for a beer real quick and then drink the rest of this beer while I'm in the shower. Because I love shower beers. It's a perfect way to relax. Nice hot shower, nice cold beer. <sighs> perfect relaxation. If you've never done a shower beer, now is the time. Get into it. It is awesome. Relaxing. Amazing. So anyway, the beer we're going to be doing today is by Stillwater Artisanal Ales. Um, this one comes out of Stratford, Connecticut. Uh, he brews kind of all over the place. Brian Strumke, who owns it, he is a... Um, gypsy brewer as people call it or nomad brewer or whatever however you want to put it so this one is called shoe gaze it is a well according to brian strumke on the can it is a distorted farmhouse pale ale he's into a lot of you know stuff and uh it is six percent alcohol by volume so gonna get into this sucker love the 16 ounce cans by the way i'm a huge fan of that format i think Every beer should be in a 16-ounce can, pretty much. Yeah. 22s, I don't like 22 ounces. 12, it's not enough. So, 16-ounce, that's where it's at. All right, let's see how this one is. Hmm. Oh, and I had to show you. Uh, as per the norm with anything still water, it's got a really nice package to it looks awesome he always it's always that way he always has amazing packaging on his beers uh if nobody out there has seen the can for on fleek that thing is insane <laughs> all sorts of neon on it you should look it up all right so i mean if you say farmhouse pale ale it looks like what you would think a farmhouse pale ale it looks like it's yellowish with the slightest tinge of orange to it but pretty yellow nice big bubbles on the top uh, some bubbles sticking on the bottom. Oh, yeah. Wow. You smell that farmhouse yeast, but you also get a very nice kind of almost clementine or tangerine citrusy note coming up after the, the hit of that uh, farmhouse yeast smell. It smells really light and crisp and refreshing, yet still citrusy, hoppy, nice. A little bit of bitterness on the nose. Oh my god, this smells awesome. Um, and also I, I, on that last smell, I smelled a little bit of like a bubblegum character in there. Which is probably coming from the yeast. That smells really nice. It smells awesome. I really hope it tastes exactly like it smells. Well, let's find out. Oh. Yup. The hop character is not as present as I thought it would be based off the nose, but it's so nice. You get a little bit of that citrus. It's a little more downplayed than in the nose, but you get that little hit of citrus. It's on the end of each sip. You get a nice, flavorful farmhouse yeast um, quality on it. The bitterness, pretty low. Almost comes off as like a little bit of like a lemon rind um, and it's clean, it's crisp, it's refreshing, it's nice. That is easy. Super easy, nice and tasty. That's a good sip of beer. I'm going to enjoy the shit out of this in the shower. I can tell you that much. So, Brian Strumke from Stillwater Artisanal Ales, you did a good job, buddy. Thank you very much for this beer, and just know I will be lathering my naked body while drinking this beer. Is that weird? Probably, but that's okay. Mm. It's, I mean, how easy and crisp and refreshing it is just lends itself to just being like, I want another sip, and now another sip, and now another sip. It's great. So anyway, everybody, thank you for checking out this video. If there are any particular beers you might want to see me try and get a hold of to do on this or on a regular podcast, which is Brutal Battle, um, and you can check that out at BrutalBattle.com or on iTunes, Stitcher, or Google Play. Um, but if there are any particular beers you want us to, to look into, 
just shoot us an email at brutalbattlepodcast at gmail.com and we'll see what we can do. But until next time, if you have not done a shower beer, do it. You will not regret that decision because it's amazing. But, But other than that, until next time, go have yourself an awesome beer and keep it brutal.